We are going into one of the engineering labs at Track Machine Tools to see a demo of the new Track TC2 lathe. This is our new Track TC2, our small turning center, which is in the same product family as our VMC2, meant to be small, portable, and for small lot machining. The machine weighs 3,100 pounds. It has an eight station turret inside, the same one that we use on our tool room products. It uh, has rapids of 600 inches per minute along X and Z. Uh, the spindle is an A25 spindle, and it has a 2.4 inch through hole bore. Inside the machine here, you'll see one of our options. It's for a hydraulic chuck, so we offer a six inch hydraulic chuck as an option. Without the hydraulic chuck, we sell a manual chuck that's eight inches in size. Also over here, you see that we have our eight station turret. It's from our tool room products, and it uses three quarter inch tooling. Some other uh, options that we have on the machine is we have it come in two different configurations. There's a low speed version and a high speed version. What you're looking at here is our high speed version and it runs the spindle up to 4,000 RPM, whereas the low speed version runs to 2,500 RPM. And so the user can choose which configuration he wants and it'll leave the plant that particular way. The hydraulic chuck option, as you see here, is an option on either the low speed or the high speed. In addition to that, the machine also has an option for an accessory tray that you see here, where you can put your calipers or your tools or your 5C collets. And so that's a nice option to have to keep everything nice and tidy. The hydraulic chuck, uh, just to show that real quick, and away you go. The maximum capacity in terms of diameters you can cut is eight inches, and we have about 11 inches of travel on the Z-axis, so it's a generous work area for you to do various sizes of parts. The Track TC2 comes in a 200 volt configuration standard from the factory, but if your factory has 480 volts, we can offer a transformer option that mounts underneath our electrical cabinet as shown here. On the side of the machine, we have our hydraulic system. What you're looking at here is the main system hydraulic pressure, and then there's an adjustable valve to increase or decrease the pressure on the chuck itself. One of the nice things about our hydraulic system option is we build the hydraulic system and tank directly into the base of the machine. So if you choose to pick up your machine, and move it around your shop, you don't have to worry about carrying the hydraulic tank as a separate item. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about the Prototrack control that's on the TC2. It's pretty much the same that we have on our tool room products, but let me point out a few things that are different. So number one, this machine has uh, home switches. So we can, in the morning when you turn the machine on, you must home the machine. So let me close the door first. And so the X and Z will home and the turret will find its tool number one position as it's doing right now. One of the reasons we decided to home the machine like you're seeing here is we're able to then laser calibrate the machine. And so we can get a Renishaw laser and make sure that the accuracies along the X and Z axis are very, very high. Once it's done, you can go ahead and do a warm up on your machine, whether you want a 10 or 20 minute warm up. And if you go ahead and press 10 minute warm up, I hit set Z and then I will press go. And we'll go ahead and warm the Warm the machine up. So if you're doing high precision work, you might want to warm your machine up in the morning uh, so it's ready to go when you put your first part in there. In terms of the control, as I said earlier, it's very similar to what we have on our tool room products. The only main difference is we are now machining on the back side of the part, and so typically turning centers do that. And so our graphics now shows that. So you can see everything is on the other side of the center line as shown. So if we take a look at our tool path, you'll see the same thing. And finally, if you were going to verify the part, To see it graphically machine away, this is how you go ahead and verify that your toolpath is good, everything looks good, and again, it's giving you a view from the back side of the part. Other than that, the rest of the control system is very, very similar to what we have on our other products. Of course, you won't see the new track PC2 in an engineering lab, but we have open houses all over, like the one happening in our factory right now. Contact your local track rep or go to our website at trackmt.com to set up a demo. We look forward to hearing from you.